everybody, it's Christina and we're talking test tips. And today we're gonna talk about what to do the week of the ACT. You did it, you signed up for the ACT. So hopefully you have been studying and while you were studying, you were making a list of things you need to remember and things you don't want to forget. <laughs> now, they sound the same, but they're not. The things you want to remember are your planned ideas, your goals, your strategies for each of the sections. But the things you don't want to forget are things like topics, formula, content, your most common mistakes that you've come across while you've been studying. This personalized sheet is incredibly valuable as a final review sheet for the week of the ACT. If you don't have something like this on hand, then what you wanna do is find a few short study guides for each section to help you focus your practice. We have a few one to two page guides on our blog, www.theolivebook.com backslash study dash guides. So the week before the ACT, I recommend taking one day to study for each section of the test and a day for final review on Friday. And this ensures that you review every section of the test thoroughly. On Monday, you're going to complete an English practice section. So it's important on this day to fill out the content, format, and pacing of the English section. So focus on grammar concepts that either you haven't thought about in a while or haven't thought about it all and confirm that you understand how the ACT asks the question and determine how long are you going to spend on each question. So some questions can be done in a second, but others require more time and sometimes rereading or reading more. So what questions do you find yourself lingering over and does that fit into your overall timing for the section? Again, as you're going through each section, you want to focus on the questions that you are consistently having difficulty with and why you struggle with them. Note them on your study sheet so that you can remember it later. On Tuesday, you're going to practice the math section. So as you go through the problems, note concepts that you feel confident in. And if you come across a question where you're stuck, then ask yourself, why am I stuck? Are you missing a formula? Have you maybe never seen this problem before? So go to the explanations, but not just the answer. You want to look at why this problem stumped you. When you think through a problem this way, it's called process recognition. Often, if you can remember just that first step, then usually you can remember exactly how to do a problem. On Wednesday, you're gonna focus on the reading section. So try reading a passage, answering the questions, and then checking your answers last. If you get really stuck on a problem, then you can go ahead and look at the answers, but don't read the explanation, right? Figure out why would it be that answer, and then check that explanation. Remember, the two main pacing strategies when studying for the ACT is interval timing and cognitive endurance. So we've learned from runners that we can gradually increase our speed by training with short interval runs. And in the same way, you can increase your overall speed on the test by improving your timing per passage or per question. And so that's interval timing. But eventually, you have to run the whole race or take the whole test. So this is cognitive endurance, right? You need to do longer and longer sections of the test at once so you know you can make it through the whole test on test day. And by now, you should have completed full sections without stopping to look at answers as a part of your studying. On Thursday, you're gonna go through the science section. Now, the pacing of the science section seems to be the hardest part of, for most students. So, what is your plan? You have to figure out a way to get through some of the questions really quickly, but it's better to get questions correct, but maybe not finished, than it is to rush. So, we recommend 
owning a plan to get through at least five of the six passages. If you can feel confident in five, six of the science section and maybe go quickly through that last passage, then you are on your way to a great score. So along the way, be sure to set realistic expectations. So based on your performance, are you gonna finish every section? How many questions are you planning to get correct in each section? Maybe you only need to get a certain number of questions correct in order to get that goal score. So aim for that number of correct answers. This way, during the test, you can feel comfortable with the fact that you're gonna maybe skip some questions that you get stuck on. All right, Thursday is the last day that you should do practice. Two nights before the test is not enough time to learn new content, but it is definitely enough time to clarify strategy, improve timing, and create a process for answering questions that you're gonna follow come that test day. So Thursday night, make sure you get a good night's sleep and that you eat well. Actually, on test day, your body is gonna be fueled by what you ate and how you slept the two nights before. So on that last day, on Friday, it's time to go over this awesome review sheet and your test day strategy. So I want you to visualize the test, starting at the beginning and going through each section. What are your procedures for that section? Your pacing, your timing. It's kind of like going through a dance routine. You're not actually going to do any more practice, but you're confirming all of the things that you know. Okay, so almost no one will know how to do every single question. So run through the strategy so that you can feel confident even when there are questions that you don't know, right? By recognizing ahead of time the places that might trip you up, you can stay more relaxed when they occur. And finally, end the day with something enjoyable and relaxing. Give your brain a break. Maybe try not to take on any new information. It already has a lot to remember. And Saturday is test day. So when you get into that testing room, take a deep breath, clear your mind, and go over again that testing strategy in your head, right? Run through that dance routine. And you need to remind yourself, what is your very best? You know what to do. You have practiced. The test is not changing. So go in there and do your thing. All right. Happy practicing.